Do you know blog can change life? Even if your blog is small, let's say that if you just have one reader and your blog changed your life, your blog is bigger enough. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm very glad to meet you today because you are here to see this video. Today I will be teaching you how to create WordPress website or blog in 5 easy steps. Also, I promise you that you will be happy after watching this video. Why? Because I'm here to show you secret tips for saving your money as well when you are creating your very first website. So without wasting your precious time, let's deep dive into this video. So why we need website or your blog? You need a blog for purpose of writing that could be anything related to the product, service, or how-to guides just like mine. Of course, yes, you can make money from blogging as well, but this guide is to create WordPress website, not making money. If you want to know how to make money, then please feel free to comment down below. I will make the extra video for you. I really need to say that if I was you, I might be happy because making a WordPress website or blog these days on 2018, it is very easy to set up with just the one click. At past, it was damn hard to set up the site because we need to use FTP softwares and you need to be tech savvy little bit. Also you will get a huge problem because those days it was not that good. However these days it's so easy to create a WordPress site even a kid can do it and without any problems. So my guide for you will be super in depth so that you guys could understand exactly how to create a WordPress website within a minute and start blogging today. So all you need to do is follow this video because I'm here to show you step by step method. Even a beginner can understand this. So guys, let's talk about why not to blog over free blogging platform. You should not blog over free platform because you are vulnerable at all the time because you have no control over your content. If you violate the rule, then bam, you are out. They can shut down at any time they want. And the next thing here is you are not allowed to monetize or advertise your blog if you are using free blogging platform. This will make it a lot harder for you to make money. And it's harder to remember your long domain name like your website name.wordpress.com, your website name.tumblr.com, or your website name.blogspot.com and etc. I think this type of domain are non trustworthy even. So which is the best blogging platform then? Only one answer here is a WordPress. Now I'm not talking here about WordPress.com. I am talking about WordPress.org which is completely free to use. So why you should use WordPress platform then? It is open source and everyone uses WordPress because it is very popular blogging CMS platform and it is highly customizable among all. It is also easy to install, even a kid can install that. And you have control on your WordPress site yourself. So what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and create WordPress website or blog right now. So the very first thing is that I want you to think about domain or your website name. I really want you to focus on this because later you guys can't change the domain name. Actually, you need to spend money around $14 to $15 on the domain name because we want a top level domain like .net, .com, .org for our brand. These are top level domain. So good news. We will get all these top level domain names for free. So guys, please make sure you have not registered your domain right now. So guys, make sure to think and use your own creativity for to have a good domain name and also make sure that the name is available, it's not like you will register google.com or another site that has been already registered. Once you are happy with your domain name, then let's go. We are going to register web host with a cheap price plus free domain name and bonus for you guys. Secret trick, I'm going to share a secret trick here. No one on internet have shared this trick. If you use this trick, you will save money while registering 
but you really need to pay attention right now. Firstly, let's talk about web hosting. What the heck is web hosting now? If you guys don't know what is web hosting, don't freak out. Web hosting is internet hosting service that will allow us to make any kind of website accessible through World Wide Web. So that's why we need to use good web hosting. However, web hosting will cost you to host your site onto your server. Also, there is a free web hosting over the internet, but I don't recommend to use free web hosting because it sucks. If you are planning to use free web hosting, then your site will have a problem every time and at any time your account might get suspended. Yes, they will suspend at no time and geez, it will waste your time and energy. Trust me guys, I have used and faced this already and I don't want you to face the same problem and it is totally not recommended. And also there are paid shit hosts which will get you into terrible situation. I have gone through GoDaddy host and it was just terrible from the day one. After I set up my site, it gave me a lot of errors, which I think I wasted my $100 on their hosting only. That totally sucks. I also tried to contact them, but they didn't give a shit. Then I went through forums to see around if other people are also getting a bad service from GoDaddy. Then it was true. All other people were also facing the same. Then I left that shit host and migrated over to Bluehost and till now, I have no problem at all with the Bluehost. The reason why I have joined Bluehost is that they are cheap, they are good, and they are number one recommended web hosting company by WordPress.org itself. As you can see the picture here, it shows you who's the boss. And that is why I highly recommend you guys to register for Bluehost to host your site. So go to link under the description, it will take you to Bluehost with discount. Once you open the link from the description, you can see that the web host starting at the 3.95 per month. But don't worry, we will buy this hosting in very cheap rate and we will be using my secret trick. Now as we are going to use my secret trick, you guys must pay attention right now. So leave where it is, now just pay attention. Now I highly recommend you to only watch the video from this stage to until you have reached to the trick part. Because if you don't watch it, then you will miss a discount trick. And the sad part is that you won't be able to get back that trick again so guys don't follow with video for right now because i don't want you to lose the discount so please pay attention onto this video right now i hope you understand and follow my old safe before moving to the setup so once again you guys need to pay attention and warning now don't click back button on your browser if you do you will miss that trick again so do not click back button if you want to get a discount stay on that page so now follow very carefully. Click on the green get started now button. Then Bluehost will ask you to choose your plan. You can select basic for beginning, but if you want to host multiple or unlimited sites, better to choose plus or prime plan. However, I recommend you guys to choose a basic plan if you want to run only a one website or blog. Later, you guys can also upgrade to plus or prime. So select a basic plan or your choice. Then you will be asked for to enter your domain name. What's Bluehost will give you for free. Yay, it's a freebie, okay? You will get the domain for free. Now enter your domain, you can select dot com dot net dot org or anything else everything is free don't worry it's a freebie once you have entered your domain name you will be asked to create your account now if i scroll down and see the total cost it is way high it's around 140 with those boxes are checked and when i unchecked you can see the price goes down and i recommend to uncheck those all boxes including domain privacy too because you will also get domain privacy for free and now check the price it dropped down to $65 now let's drop $5 more with my secret trick now here is a tricky part if you try to hover over the mouse 
Tap onto your browser tab. It will give you a discount option for to save money. If it shows you claim saving, just go ahead and click on that claim. Now warning, once you have clicked on the claim, don't click back button because you will not get that chance again. You will lose the discount. Now after we click on the claim, then check your price again. It should show you 59 for one year or 12 months. Now you can fill up your account details and make sure to give a correct email address. Then on the package information, set the account plan for 12 months or 1 year. If you wish to extend more, you can do that as well. I think it's a good price for getting a good web host at a such a cheap rate. You can see yourself, it just cost $59 after we use that trick. If you don't use that trick, it will cost you around $65. Whereas I wasted $100 on the GoDaddy, sometimes it feels so bad why I don't find Bluehost at first. Anyway, lucky for you, I'm glad to help you always. Once you are satisfied, head over to the payment information. You can click on more payment option if you guys are using the PayPal account. If not, you can simply use a debit or credit card. Then check on I have read and agree to Bluehost terms and services and hit on the submit. Once you guys hit on the submit button, it should show you congratulations page as shown here. Now as you can see that Behost they have a special offer for you and they are trying to make you purchase that special offer. But I don't recommend you to do that. So guys simply click on no thanks. Now let's install the WordPress. Once you click on the no thanks, you should see welcome to the Behost congratulations. Also, the confirmation email will be sent to your Gmail box or whatever email you are using. Now, I highly recommend you to confirm the email first by opening your email box because it's very important to do. Now, you guys are ready to create WordPress website or blog. Remember that I told you earlier, it's very easy to install WordPress. Even a kid can do it. So that's it, guys. Now, Bluehost will install you the WordPress for free. And the best part, you don't need to do anything. So guys, let's create a password for your account by clicking on that green button. Now make sure guys, the password is unique with sprinkled symbols, letters and numeric. Make sure it is strong that no one is able to guess that. Because if someone can guess your password, then your website might get hacked. Please guys, make sure to use strong enough password. Now once you have done setting up your password, click on I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy and then click on next then simply login. Now Bluehost will ask you for to choose theme template for you. But for now, you can just scroll down and click on skip this step because we can theme later manually. Now as you can see, Bluehost is setting you up your brand new WordPress site. Now wait for 30 to 50 seconds or until the setting up process is done. Now once the setup is done, you can see start building or go to my Bluehost account. Then click on go to my Bluehost account so that I can show you how to log into your website. Now once you are in the brand new Blue Rock C panel, you can see home, my page, sites, marketplace and etc. Now all you need to do is just click on the login to WordPress by clicking on the big blue button. Also, you can manually open your WordPress admin login by going to your website name.com forward slash wp admin. It is same, you can use wp admin for to login onto your website manually. Now, you can use your username and password that you had created previously, which I think is pretty good for saving your time instead of going each time on Bluehost for login to the WordPress. Now, congratulations once again that you have successfully installed WordPress on Bluehost. Now you guys are in the WordPress dashboard and you will be asked by Bluehost what you want to use your website as, business or personal. Here, I recommend if you are going to use only yourself, choose personal. You can also use it as a business if you are going to add some users or you are going to work as a team members. So it's all up to you what you want to choose. It is the same thing. You don't need to spend ton of time for thinking about this. Now on the let's launch your new website, add the site title, you want to put your website name. And on the site description, you want to put what is your site all about. Then click on next step. Now once again, Bluehost will ask you more questions like let's launch. You can click on yes. 
then it will ask you for what should visitors see on your home page now you will get two options here most recent news or updates or a static welcome page well you can skip this process for right now also click no if it asks for you the contact page now the final thing here is the Bluehost wants you to connect your website with wordpress.com using the jetpack plugin so what is jetpack plugin well guys the jetpack plugin is an awesome plugin every wordpress user use it because it shows you very beautiful analytics on your wordpress dashboard which i think is very good if you guys want to use jetpack you need to connect wordpress.com if you don't want then click on not now because you can do this manually later by adding this plugin now you guys can go back to your home page of your wordpress dashboard if you guys try to open your website right now it should show you blank or if someone or anyone opens your website it should show you coming soon page now if you want to remove the coming soon page and set your site public you can simply click on launch at the launch your site once you do this everybody can see your site even if it have no post at all right now your website will just show you hello world post because we have just freshly launched our site right now now you guys need to add content i recommend you to add at least 10 to 15 unique content onto your site because you will need it for designing your website as well to make it look how your website looks like when you add enough content no one like to see blank website because it's empty so next step is to design your blog when it comes to design the blog we need to follow you know choosing a theme creating menus and you need to focus on layout or looks and also you need to have a good logo but you really want to think that you want to have a blog type website or a static actual site so let's talk about choosing a theme now choosing a theme is very important while you're building a website there are a ton of wordpress theme that you will find on the market by using the theme you can make your dream site comes true or how you want your website to be look as now to choose a theme you can go ahead to appearance and click on the themes you can see some themes there including a default theme that we are using right now but what you guys can do here is you can click on wordpress.org themes button above however these are just free themes now if you guys want to make your dream site come true then i don't want you to choose the free theme because with this theme you will not be able to make your site look badass you can see my site as well i'm using the premium theme and also you can see all other popular websites they are also using the premium themes so why to use premium theme then free themes are very easy to find also it is a free buys and good for newly site launched but free themes have very less features it have a limited not just that these themes are not unique when you try to compare it with premium themes. Since anyone can download free themes without paying a box, you will start to notice that a lot of similar website that matches with your site and it just look unprofessional. Why? Because this theme have limitation while you are trying to customize it. But with premium theme, you will have more unique because these theme are used by less while you compare to free theme. Your website will look badass, professional, not just that, you will have a full support and updates. You can also contact them as well. Now, if you guys talk advantage of using this premium theme, you will get more features. You will get more customization as more competition in the premium theme. You can get themes at very lower prices. You can get drag and drop builders, you can also get short course, you can also get multiple layout and templates as well. And also you can choose your favorite color in any place you want to splash it up. And there are a lot of more features on the premium themes. So guys, you can see the vast difference between paid and free themes right now. Now I recommend you to use premium theme as possible as you can. It will give you good looking and also on a seo ranking and a page speed will also be optimized as well whereas free themes will not give you any shit of those things now you might ask hey wait can i use a crack hack or knowledge theme obviously no you can't use because your site will get hacked those knowledge theme 
will definitely have the backdoor or viruses in it. If you upload that file, hacker can access your entire server because you gave him access to uploading his virus file. Now he can penetrate on your server, he can breach your site, he can sell and deface it. Even he can change your hosting password, then you will be not able to do anything. So this is very dangerous and I will not recommend this method. I already work as an ethical white hat hacker past two years, so I know this stuff very well. I don't want you to get this type of situation, so stay away from the paid team for free or a cracked or a knowledge team. So which team is better to use? Now I will tell you in my experience, in my opinion, the team from Elegant Themes will be better to use because they provide you a huge customization. I'm sure that you can customize your website in such a way that your dream site will come true. Now if you guys want to know what team I am using right now, if you are curious to know what team I am using, it's currently DB by Elegant Themes. Now if you guys really love to use the DB by Elegant, the link will be under my description down below. You will get all the themes access once you have joined and sign up which is pretty awesome. Well, I think we should move to the real designing right now. So if you decided to use a premium theme by DB, I will be making a separate video tutorial for you in the future. So guys, now let's create a menu and adding some posts right now. So first, you want to create a menu and category and the pages so that you can make your own navigation. First, let's create a category. To create that, hover over the post and then click on the categories. Now you can name the category that you are going to write about. So you need to know that we are going to use the category as your navigation header. So guys, you need to think first what you want to write the post about. Let's say you have a health and fitness content, then you should definitely create a category about weight loss, healthy life, or yoga, right? So in my case, I will use it as my blogging here. So add the name and slog into the name as a blogging and you can add yourself your own category and you can add up some more category list that you want. Once you are happy with the category, now create a page. Hover over a page, then you can once look all the pages, then add up some other pages like about us, contact pages, etc. And make sure to publish your page. So let's create a main menu. After you have created both pages and category, you are ready for to create a header menu. All you need to do is hover on appearance and click on menus. Now you can see that you have no menu here so first thing is you want to create a menu. So name anything you want, I will name as a menu 1 and press on create menu button. Congratulations you have created your first menu. Now this is like a recipe book menu. At here you guys want to see your left side. There are the post, page, custom links and category. So we will be using pages and category from there. If you want to use, you can also use the custom link as well. Now click on pages first and then click on view all, then add up home and about us pages. Then once again click on the category and select all category that you want. Then add those two. After you added a category and page, it should something look like this. Now you can drag and drop any of this category anywhere and to create a drop down list you can simply drag to the right and it should just look like this all right guys now once you have done making your category then click on a primary menu then click on the save menu also now you can check your website and bam there we go you have a nice looking nav bar Adding post or content. If you have a content written, then it's very good. But if you don't have, don't worry. You can use dummy text generator and use that as a content because we need to design the blog with some few posts. To create your post, head over to the post thing, click on add new post. Now you can add any title you want, then go to the dummy text generator.com and generate about eight. 100 to 1000 word of the text then paste onto your content area but it is not good idea to add a lot 
this is just a dummy text and you don't want to use this. You want to add content from your own creation after your blog is ready. Then scroll down and add some feature images by clicking on feature images. Just upload any picture for demo. Now do this same process for 5 to 6 times so that you will have 5 to 6 posts ready and you are ready for designing a theme. For now, we will be designing simple new theme where you are able to customize header, footer, widget and so on. But as I have already told you that with free themes there is a limitation while customizing. So guys from the wordpress.org theme pick up any theme that you think it will suit for you. Also all themes are different and it will not have same feature so keep that in mind. For this tutorial I will be using Hestia theme because it look uh, really beautiful and professional. So to choose Hestia you can type Hestia on the search bar and install then click and activate. So guys, layout and looks is important here because you can completely change the look of your website. Now guys, you want to think here and ask yourself once again, do I want a static page or let us pose? However, you guys can decide this later because you can change this at any time. Now as you have activated your HSTI theme, on your WordPress blog, it should something look like this. Then now you guys want to change this each and every part so that your blog represents you. We don't want to leave it as default and it don't make any sense at all. So to customize the theme, go to appearance and then click on customize. Then as always, every free theme has different ways to customization. But with Hestia, it is very easy to customize. Now you can see that you are in the customizer of the WordPress and you can also see those pencil icon. So to change those part, you just need to click on those pencil icon one by one, which is very easy. And you won't get these features in another free themes. Making easier for editing is the beauty of this theme. If you want to add static, it will look better as shown here on the preview of the HDA theme. So to do that, go to the home setting and choose home page as home page like this. You can see it is a lot better than last time. Once you are happy with this, then you can also choose layout of your website by going to appearance setting, general setting and a customizer, just like this. Now there we go, that's all you can do with this free theme. Now hit on the publish and you are ready to start posting your all of the latest content. Well that's all and this is how you can create a WordPress website or a blog. It's that simple and easy to do. I hope you guys have learned a new thing today. If you still have a questions, you guys can comment down below. If you want to reach me, you can also contact me on my Facebook pages. So if you think this video really helped you out, then please show some love by leaving a like. Let's break some 20 likes for this video. Much appreciated if you really do that. And if you guys want more WordPress tutorial just like this, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you will get the email notification whenever I publish the video. So thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Susan and I'm signing off right now. Peace.